Good morning, everyone. My name is Don Marshall, otherwise known as Bagger, Bagger Don, a.k.a. Bagger Vance, I guess, um, at StockMarketCaddy.com. First thing, a little bit about ourselves as to who we are and who we are not. Uh, I am not, we are not brokers, broker, brokers, financial advisors. We're not recommending to buy or sell anything. We're not recommending that everyone trade for a living. Um, the, f the simple fact is not everyone is prepared um, and, and trained to uh, trade for a living. We, uh, my wife, I say we, it's my wife and I, uh, we do. We have uh, developed many, many uh, systems and invite you to look at our website. We, the website is really a labor of love. We're about, um, we enjoy teaching mentoring other people, other like-minded people to uh, trade. Now, what I wanted to address with everybody here, I, you know, I go on the YouTube and I see all these indicators and, you know, well, tons of them. And, and I don't see any of the back testing. I don't see any of the results. And, and I see people charging, you know, $80 for this or maybe $8,000. It's a little ridiculous. And so I just wanted to not do that and kind of back things up for you. And one of the charts that we like to trade, that a number of other, obviously thousands of people like to trade, um, it's a price chart, very popular in Forex. It's called a Renko chart. The only reason I want to show this here, I have a bigger lesson in this uh, video on YouTube that I got to keep under 10 minutes. So the only reason I'm using the Renko is that it shows the price action very clearly. But what I'm about to show you can be applied very simply to time charts as well. Now, what I see happening time and time again with many new traders is they lose sight of the bigger picture. They either they're either one of two two ways. They're zoomed in and they're focused right on this or they're focused on all of this, the whole thing. And they can't seem to get what I call the, you know, the resolution right. They don't know where to focus on this. And, and it's, it's just all important. You, if you don't know where to focus and you can't get the resolution right, you can get a case of vertigo and you don't know whether you're going up or going down. That is absolutely the worst thing in the world for a trader. It'd be like a pilot. He, if he doesn't know up from down, he, he's not going to be flying very long. So the first thing is, is that with a rink with a Rinko, and I'm not trying to promote the Rinko, but um, per se, but these boxes, these bricks that you see, the red bricks are coming down, the red, red uh, green bricks are going up. They are three points a brick which means translate on the NQ, $20 a brick. Now what many novice traders will do, they'll see all this and they see all this opportunity. And so like I say, they're either focused right here or on the whole thing. Or well, then you'll have some and say, well, geez, if I could just develop a system that could trade every single brick, then you know I could um, just turn on the machine and sit by the pool and this thing would print money. Well, that doesn't work. Um, it does not work because the way these bricks function, you would trade way too much. And in terms of transaction costs and in ter terms of slippage, you would do nothing but drain your account over time. So scratch it. Okay. We have the engines that can do that. And there are sometimes we want to turn them on so we don't miss a trade, but we don't leave them on all the time. So that's one of those examples too, by the way, that an indicator or a strategy may not work all the time so that you can just turn it on, but it does have value sometimes. But where does it have value and when? So when we're looking at this, your your eyes are going to be drawn here or, you know, maybe here from, from many people, you know, or back here. And so some might say, well, uh, it looks to me like I'm headed up. I can draw a line, so I'm just going to get long. Or some might say, well, I'm topping up here, we're headed down, so I'm just going to get short. Well, one of them is going to be right. It's a 50-50 deal. The guy who goes long, you know, could lose his arse 
if it breaks down and he doesn't stop. And the guy who goes short could also lose his arse if this completes a brick and runs up and continues running up. So it highlights you know, that you need to have a little bit of a plan and you need to know where to enter and you need to know where to put your stop. And the truth of the matter is, is that there is no real opportunity here yet. What you want to do is this brick is not complete. Okay, so if we were just starting here right now, it's not complete. So this means that these bricks are in fact headed down. If that's the case, this is what we call an A point. And let me just, before I even go here, everything in um, in the price action of the market moves in triangles over and over again. It comes down, shoots up. I mean, here is a triangle here, right? There are triangles here. This is a, um, another triangle, triangle. And there are triangles with your um, your time charts. And people talk about trading the, the W or the M. Well, the reality of that is it's just two triangles. They're all, they're all constant, no matter what the time frame, no matter what the brick size, no matter really what the chart, with the exception of maybe something like point and figure or Kagi, price moves in triangles. So the question is, where, you know, is this triangle headed down or headed up? And the truth of the matter is, we really don't know. So at the moment, when you come in here and you're looking to get started, we would say that we're headed down, okay? You could either put the A for an ABC, tri you know, an, an ABC triangle, but the other part is, you know, where do you place an order on this ABC? But let's, if you put in an A here or an A here, it's entirely different, right? But let's, let's just pick it. We're starting the day, and so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to choose to put the A up here. Discretionary, right? Whoops. How did that go away on me? Bear with me. Okay. So I come in, I start my day, and I put the A up here. Okay, now, what if this continues to run down? Am I going to jump on the trade? No. Just let it run down. You know, what if this runs up one brick? Well, one of the rules that I have is that one brick to me, even though it's 20 bucks, is a little bit of noise. Three bricks is worthy. So I don't even, I don't do any any mapping out with a, with a one brick. Okay? So this is either going to, fail and continue to be red bricks or it's going to complete a green brick and then let's just assume it comes up and makes two green bricks all right if it does if it does it will put it right about here and then the next two bricks I, let's say the next one brick is down and then the next brick is down that would put me right in line with here and I got two bricks. So I would have, first thing is when I go up here for the, the two, okay, I would be able to come in here, the first thing, and bear with me, we've got to use our imagination here a little bit, but I think this is just forgotten. We will put in a B. So we're using our imagination and we're saying okay so we start a day we can put the A here but we can't put the B here until this thing stops going down how do we know when it stop, stops going down it's put in at least two green bricks so we're gonna assume so it's just for the sake of discussion here that we've gone up one and two two bricks two bricks now we don't know we could be going up more all right for the moment so but what I am able to do is put a B in here so I do, do I trade the A to B leg no all right so we come up here to the the um, the two bricks here 
and let's just say for the sake of discussion it stops going up and we come right back down two bricks okay now we've been able to see this happen so now if I've come down two off of this leg that's up it's imaginary leg bear you know with me I'm gonna be able to put a, a C point here and let me do that okay so unfortunately my little um, trading system wouldn't uh, I say little it's trade station it's not a little system it's very good actually but I wasn't able to draw the C point out in the future there so because this action hadn't happened so let's just I screen captured this I'm going to try to use this little tool I'm going to run over this 10 minutes and um, and see if YouTube will let me upload this so I'll even go ahead and um, let's see well, well we'll try to draw as little as we can here um, let me see if I can get an arrow in here so we're making an assumption here that we have run up and actually made a C point now how do we know that we made a C point because this you know could have run the reason why we know is that we have also assumed that we have run oops now I'm gonna grab this C I don't want to do that technically challenged here let me um, get this again and how do we know that's the C point because we're now assuming that we've run down two bricks okay from this pattern from this pattern so now we have the makings can I move that no I captured it so we we put the A in do we trade that first thing in the morning no okay we wait to put the B in we start to go up do we trade the B no we're waiting to put place the C point well how do we know where to place the C point well she's got to stop going up and how do we know she's got to stop going up she's got to go down two bricks okay so now we got the C point and we're on our way to hopefully making the C to D leg this is where we enter the trade so let me well can I turn this baby around yeah okay so we would enter the trade theoretically right here right here and where would our stop be our stop would be any kind of reversal back up now if you want to cut it close and make it a one you know a one brick stop two brick stop that'd be up to you but you certainly don't want to come back up and revisit the C point so you'd want to have your stop level up in here and then you would want to see this complete and A B C D down and you said well Don well that's really good you know that's all fine you drew it out theoretically but you know let's let's run through some of the the possibilities here which nobody really takes the time to explain this to you because we don't none of us really know what's going to happen with price now if the C to D leg the C to D leg so that you know is generally generally the same length as the A to B if it gets any longer it's a little bit long in the tooth so if we know the A to B leg because we're placing the trade here if we know the A to B leg is one two three four bricks four times twenty is eighty dollars eighty dollars so if I lose if I put my trade on here and I go back up I could lose forty and but if I'm good I might make eighty well you know you get a sh you know a sh you know generally it's four so you're trying to make eighty dollars and you're risking about forty and you've got it mapped out screw the indicators for right now <laughs> okay you gotta map it out and if you go any further now let's say this thing runs like a son of a gun okay and you know all of a sudden you're up a hundred you're up a hundred and fifty you're up two hundred and you're all excited well you gotta stay with the same rule I mean if you put the trade on to make 80 and you're up 160 you, you gotta take your money I mean the trades over I mean maybe a one box reversal two box reversal if that's you want to trail it but that that's it you place the trade in this instance now there are plenty of other patterns but everything starts with the ABC of the triangle and if you can't recognize this you know you need to 
It's A, B, C. And you're placing the trade off a confirmed C. Confirmed. Okay, not an imaginary C. I mean, we're doing it here, but for demonstration, you need to go down. And that's it. And then the cycle starts over again. Okay? So, you know, if you, you know, if this was only two bricks and I could do an ABC, you know, it's not even worth my time to map it out. Even mentally, it's not even worth my time. You know, I'd, I'd like to, and we'll go back and look at some other larger ones. But you might say, well, Don, you know, that's all well and good. But what if, you know, you put it here and you don't know what's going on. Again, what if it came all the way down here? Okay. Let it come all the way down there. The, your job is to stay out of the trade. You're in the A leg. You just you just started looking at the screen. You have no idea where price is going. Forget about it over here for now. Let's not be looking at double tops and triple, you know, tops over here. Let's just focus on the here, you know, in here, the development of the trade and how to map it out. So so down you come. Then you go up two bricks. Well, then your B is down here. Okay. And then your B, and then you go up on the C. And you let the C do what it's going to do and then you formulate it so maybe your a to b leg isn't four bricks maybe it's 10 bricks well now now it might be even a better risk reward trade and and if so this will also slow you down because if you can't map it out you there's no trade and if you do map it out and it's only you know you're risking 40 bucks or 80 and it's not worth your time or trouble then you won't put the trade on presumably unless you're crazy or insane <laughs> right now Let's just move this C over here for a minute. Park it. You said, Don, you drew it A to B. All right, let's assume it's, it did go there. It didn't go down any further than here. But you also assume the C leg was, let's see if I can extend this. Um, I'm going to try. I don't know if I can adjust this tool. So let me delete this tool for a minute. And I'm just going to redraw it. What if you came up here and you kept on going and you said this was the A point A B C okay no okay this was going to be an A B C down because we put the A point here so guess what it's not okay it's not what you thought it was it's not an ABC down well now what do I do I mean do I put the C up here no now we're just talking ABC's right now okay there are other patterns but we start here so now you're up here well guess what that's not the A then it isn't no nope what is it we definitely turn. So if that's not the A, because we're going we're going up. You thought this was going to be an A B C D down. Well, we got to remove these things because let's get rid of that. Let's just eliminate the confusion. So there's no there's no trade here. And what you anticipated in the morning isn't playing out. But guess what it is. So let's just we got to oops. <laughs> Still on my drawing tool. Sorry me. Sorry. Let me see if I can click on this. Oh, you know what's happening? That's my screenshot, and I wanted to move these things. I can't erase them. Um, so I can't, you know, I, yeah, I hope you understand. I, I, I captured those as screenshots, so I don't have control to erase these. But what, it, what you need to do is actually um, move this. So I'm going to just do this to cover it up. Okay, I can do that, right? I can do it again here. Let's cover this up too. Let's just cover that up. Okay, those are nothing. All right, but what, what, this is no longer an ABC down because now you're way up here. So we do, we could do the same thing. We could just go back. We're running, running, running like hell. We're running like hell. So what do we do? Say, well, we could, we can do one of two things. We can, say that well this is a confirmed a point so I could put the a right here I hope so anyways put an a in and I make this the a point 
and I never put the trade on because I, I guess wrong. Now, if the other guy, let's say the other guy, put it in here and he said, ah, I think we're going up from here. He didn't even give a shit about that, right? Excuse the French. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have sworn. So he's up here, A, and he's waiting and he's running, running, running. Does he go chase it? No. But then he gets two bricks that come down. Maybe he gets three bricks. Maybe he gets four bricks. Oh my goodness. Right? Five bricks. So what's he got? Well, he's got a B point up here. Because he put the A here. Put the B in. And, and there it is. There's the B point. Now, I, when's the C go? Well, I don't know. If this if this stops, how do I know it stops? Because I get two bricks to go up. Oh, so let's let's pretend we got that, all right? And now it's starting to go up. Now, now we can we can put this here. As a C leg, but now it's a little bit wider. Okay, so you still now this is where you have a choice depending upon what type of trader. If you've been watching this all day, and you think A to B, B to C, C to D. I could put the trade on here. I could put it on here, and if I do, where is my stop? I would put the stop you know, more or less right in here. I shouldn't see that point. Let's get rid of this one because that, that's an old setup. Okay, now the advantage to going right here, this is potentially the C to D leg. I'm making a projection A to B, B to C, C to D. Let's say this is 20 bricks, 20. So I think this C to D leg is going to move 20 bricks which at twenty dollars a brick is four hundred dollars but I'm gonna I'm going to put my stop in here which is gonna cost me forty so I'm risking you know forty forty sixty dollars to make four hundred now it may do that okay it may do that it may not you may lose nobody knows the other side of the coin see if I can draw this but let's let's lose this one for a minute and let's say the other it does this and it depends upon your trading stop. Oops, I don't want that. I don't want to move that. Sorry. So let's get this arrow. Let's go from here, and away we go. Now, if you put the trade on, because there are traders that say, "Well, I want the C to D leg, but I want to wait until it breaks the B point." Okay. In a situation like this, if you left your stop down here, well, you could be losing, you know, potentially maybe 10 bricks. It could be half, you know, could have pulled back halfway. So you can't, you, if you were that person that wanted to break the B, you know, you don't want to leave your stop down here because it'd be too rich. Now, if this was a really tight ABC, because sometimes they come in really tight, right? Comes in here, and you say, "Hey, it's going to go." And you get one brick. Okay, then maybe you know stay. But you got to be aware of where you're going to enter and where the stop is going to be. So if I was wanted to wait for that, which I probably wouldn't in this big ABC, you know, you've got to move your stop up in here because if it does break, it should continue on up. All right? It could fail nobody knows and go on to make the D leg you finish rinse repeat do it again all right so you could either you know if you could either be entering here you could be entering here if you enter here the stop is here if you enter up here the stop is here you know if this arrow I can't adjust it but if this arrow was shorter you know maybe you can get away with both maybe you can get a real BC leg boom which would be strong right 
you know, if it only pulls back briefly for two bricks and then runs up and is breaking and you can, you know, get a play with me here. Let's pretend, you know, the C points up here and for the interest of time, you know, and it's doing, you know, this number, you know, you're going from here and you can get the breakout and get the stop here. Well, best of both worlds, you're off and running. That's an ABC pattern, right? Oops. Now I got arrows all over the place. I'm sorry. So let's see if I can capture this back. All right. But that's not what we mapped out. This is what we mapped out. And then you can say, well, Don, geez, um, you know, I got this indicated down here and, it, and I think it's going to do this and you think it's going to do that. Uh-uh. Don't give a crap what what the indicator it's going to reflect what happens here this has got to be your stop this so there's a big part of trading is you know the money management part and either you have it or you don't so you got to have a discipline you got to know what you're looking for because it look what happens let's say that we go up here you say don you know you're making it all look good well no because i agree sometimes we'll get an arrow guess what Let's pretend, oops, dang it. Let's pretend the arrow starts here and we're off and running and it stops. And stops. And then it comes here, comes down two bricks right here and down, and down, down, and down, and down. And you say, what kind of crap was that? Well, you would have been stopped out here, right? You would have been stopped out. And guess what? The guy who said, no, that ain't the A point. We're too extended. We've already had a bunch of ABCs up. I've, I've, I've got five or six ABCs up. What's that, you say? I can count these ABC ups? Yeah. All you have to do is count. You don't even have to draw them out. Higher lows, you know, you can count the guys. So you got to look and say, well, how many ABC ups were there? And maybe this ABC is the sixth one. It's amazing how if you look at these, no matter what the time frame rink goes, you get to a five or six count in one direction of ABCs. They kind of extended. So, you know, just because you get up in the morning, you get started here. Somebody could have get up at 4 a.m. like us and already made our bread five or six. And we're like, no, I don't think so. I think this is going to run out of gas up here. And guess what? We placed our A up here. And we're taking, we're betting that we're going to go down. We're going to pull back. We're going to go up. And it's going to fail. Not going to do it. And then we're going to have an ABC down. The good thing is you can stop out here. You lose very little. And then you can say, just admit, you know what? I got that wrong. These guys are right. That is the A. This is, oops, I'm trying to move these things around here. Oh crap, <laughs> I'll just delete it. <laughs> All right, that's the B. And then sure enough, it's the C. Okay, you got it wrong. You're gonna get them wrong. You can't do this without being wrong and you can't do this without dry downs. The trick is admitting that you're wrong, make sure that you get out of what you thought it was. You know where you entered, you know, when you were going up, you would have, you know, been thinking this was the ABC. No, it got started. It was too long in the tooth. That happens. You come out here, but guess what? You could turn right around. You lost 40 bucks and then get in the trade. Get in it. You know, I don't have an arrow, but um, just, just jump in it. You might be a tick or two late and join the ride. Where's the stop? Now, so you go from I was betting long, I got it wrong, I stopped out, I got short, and now the stop, you know, my buy to cover is up in here. A, B, C. A, B, C. Where do you place the orders? C. C to D leg. You know, where do you place the stop? If it's real close to the B, you can place it right at you know right at the C. If you're gonna wait for the break of the B, you know, you better put it, you know, right 
you know a box or two back or 50 or 60 cents or whatever you know the time frame that you're using you know you got to figure out your cost management if you can just do that you're going to mightily improve your trading performance and if you see let's come back here now let's just minimize this okay and so we're back to a real chart forget about what happened over here these guys have already got up earlier in the morning and they've already made their money okay but you can practice on this so let's pretend can I move this yeah I can now I'm on oops um, let me do this I'm on the real chart so you think you're just getting started in the morning you say you know what I think that's the A point I think that's the B point okay okay A to B put your C here you want to get short there's your trade entry where's your stop up here so let's slide across and see what it does guess what you lost you're out so what you lost 40 bucks 50 bucks 60 bucks it's over trades over it was worth a shot but guess what you, there's another trade right behind it well then this is the a this wasn't an a b down it was an a to b a tight c and i got it wrong i enter here now into here guess what okay <laughs> you would have entered in here right in here make a few bar bricks it's an active game okay and I you know I just did that I didn't know how they're gonna play out but you've got to be disciplined because as you roll forward these ABC's strike some you're gonna get big and some you're gonna get small okay and you want to be looking and see, you know, am I going to put, be playing off one particular leg? I can't map it out for you perfectly because, one, it does no good to map them out back here. It depends upon when you sit down in front of your screen and you start playing and you understand the rules and you understand that, okay, I got an A to B leg and then I got a C leg um the next trade would actually be short i like that spot here no i don't like it when you combine just this knowledge with indicators that we have with the level two live radar your trading becomes you know you become like a sniper i mean it's um it's deadly I'm Bagged on at Stock Market Caddy. If this video resonated with you, good. I hope you learned something. Um, try it out. See what it does for you. And, you know, um, we don't have memberships that are long term. I don't ask people to buy indicators and strategies for thousands of dollars. I don't sell lifetime memberships and all that crap. We don't do that. If you want to join, our base membership is 99 bucks a month. We don't give trials. You know, if you don't like it and you don't learn anything in a month, well, consider what you just learned in the last 35 minutes. But if you don't learn anything more, you're out 99 bucks. If you're an advanced trader and been struggling and you want to, you know, join and do more, you get understand the ABCs. You know, we have other tools and Fibonacci retracement tools and so forth to help with this um, sort of thing and much, much more. Uh, we have a level two membership. One, you got to be a base member at 99 and our level two is 400. We're trading futures. $500 is a lot of money, but in trading futures, $500, you can lose that in, you know, in, in minutes sometimes. Um, once again, it's month to month. You like it? you stay if you don't you know at most you're all 500 additionally all of our members get di significant discounts on all of our indicators all of our um, strategies if you're a base member you can lease them 
it's on a, on a per basis. If you are a level two member, you get everything at no additional cost. So the maximum your cost is 500 a month if you want to be a level two. Again, if you're a trade station, you would get all of our indicators, but you also get a live shot of what we're doing um, and what the markets are doing uh, using the radar. I'm Bagadon at Stock Market Caddy. I hope this little lesson of ABC. The truth of the matter is there isn't an indicator in the world out there that can tell you can tell you where price is going to be in the next minute. And prices can move that fast. By utilizing a simple ABC structure and understanding where to enter helps you where to exit. And that comes into your your um, money management tool. Once you know how to do ABCs, then you can do more complex patterns. And there are other more complex patterns that um, put the risk reward. And that's what these patterns are doing. They're putting, you're able to calculate quickly in your mind and you just do them over and over again. You say, maybe I don't want to, I won't do anything less than a, uh, you set the box size. So I won't do anything less than a five point or five box ABC. So you don't get involved in this crap. Okay. That's how we were, you know, you wouldn't, you don't trade this crap. Stay out of it. Okay. You know, and you know where you stop is. I'm back in on Stock Market Caddy. I am hoping I have to apologize for the quality of the YouTube video. Ours a high definition. This ran uh, 20 minutes longer. I don't know if they're going to upload it. I hope they do. Good luck, everybody. Drop us a line. We have demo days on Wednesday. Demo days. Um, send us an in, uh, send us an email. Let us know your your experience level, how you like to trade, what you like to trade, so forth, and then we'll invite you to come in and you can um, see how how our systems work. They're incredible. I mean, they really are. They're like nothing you've ever seen. We don't we don't we do have these price charts, but we have if you look at our other videos something we call the um, the swing machine, and in this it really really helps map map us out so that we're not getting much we don't want you can't do it without losing and you can't do it you can't trade without drawdowns but boy we we try to we try to keep that to a minimum okay and get that profit factor good luck everybody feel free you want to give me a call anytime anytime cell phone 813-758-8263 813-758-8263 if it's a trading day and i can pick up i will you want to i'm here in the evenings we love what we do. We're passionate about it. Um, you're welcome to call my cell phone just about any time because if I'm here in my office and it's 11 o'clock, I'm going to pick it up. If it's 2 a.m., I am. Um, otherwise, if I'm in bed, it'll be, you know, you'll go into voicemail and I'll call you when I can. Good luck.